All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Let's go out to Pete in Squirrel Hill. What's up, Pete? Hey, guys. How are you tonight? Good. Thanks for calling. All right, a quick question, an observation, Rich, and a question, if I may. Yeah. Number one, about the gentleman who called about the Kansas City Royals winning the World Series. He did it with pitching and tremendous defense, Rich. Yeah. They did not give up a run. The Pirates are well below average offensively for the past 10, 12 years. My question is, Rich, did Major League Baseball think they're doing themselves a favor by the last generation, Rich, building these micro parks? 399 to center field. 315, 320 down a line. What's the big deal when a guy hits a homer, Rich? 450, 460. When the incomparable Willie Mays played center field for the New York Giants in the Polo Grounds, center field was 482. He caught balls that were hit 470. What do you think about that? Uh, you know what? You bring up a pretty good point. I know, you know, baseball, just like any other sport, they want to see a lot of offense, and that's probably why they did it. I mean, you look at uh, PNC Park right field, it's short. And that's why the Pirates always wanted to get a good left-handed hitter in here, but they haven't really found one. Yeah, I mean, the, the, those things about, you know, the old, good old days. Yeah. Willie Mays didn't face specialized relief, you know, relief pitchers. Uh, and those guys, you know what I mean, they, they faced the same <coughs> pitcher pretty much for the entire game. They didn't face six pitchers in a game or five pitchers in a game or a left-handed specialist or right-handed specialist. And, Paul, can you tell me game. how many guys in that era were throwing 90, 90 miles an hour? Much less 100. Yeah. So, that's, I think that's a... You know, that's a big part. But obviously, I'm baseball saying, wants to see, it's, it's, what, chicks dig the long ball. Baseball, well, no, but, people but want to see home runs. it's a different game, though. It's a completely different game than it was back then in a lot of ways. Eh? <laughs> to compare it is silly. It is. It, it, it is silly. Uh, but, you know, I like what you were getting at. I mean, I, obviously, Major League Baseball wants to go with offense. You want to see home runs. I think that brings more people to the ballpark, frankly, right, than – a good pitching performance yeah, or a good I mean, defensive I, I, performance. I mean, if you look at it, it, it hasn't been like overly, you know, since the steroid era. I mean, the steroid era, you know, you could have made defenses 500. It wouldn't have mattered. But, you know, really it hasn't been ridiculous in terms of how many home runs are getting hit and all that other stuff in the last five, six years. So what would you do, going back to the Pirates pitching problems? We have about a minute before we have to go to break. What would you do right now if you're the Pirates? I mean, there's what really nothing do? in the minors. Do Pray you that Clay Holmes, you know, or whatever his name is. I mean, Mitch Keller's working on the pitch. Uh, what, what else is going on in the minors? Who else much. do you have? You don't have many options here. So you got you to gotta hope that maybe the opener thing works. Do you try to make a trade for a guy that might be uh, struggling at another place? Perhaps. I would go get a veteran, but I don't, you know, it depends on what you have to give up and who we're talking about. You, you know. know, Pony brought up a good name, Derek Holland. On my way into work, I was listening to him on the fan. I mean, that wouldn't be a guy that you, it wouldn't be a bad option, I don't think. What, what would you have to give up for him? I don't know. That, that's that's the, a good that's question. That's always the question in a trade. All right, well, we got to take a break. Back to wrap it up. Coming up next, stay right there.